Hi, I am Matilda and I am a certified clinical aromatherapist. I am also a master trainer for internationally accredited aromatherapy courses. So if you're interested to learn more about aromatherapy, do check out my courses in the description below. This channel is created to empower women in health and wealth. So if you are interested in these topics, do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of future videos. Today, I'm going to share with you what are some of the signs of low progesterone levels, the causes, and how you can actually boost your progesterone levels naturally. Now, progesterone is one of the sex hormones that can be found more predominantly in women than in men. So besides progesterone, we have other sex hormones like estrogen and testosterone as well. And in another video of mine, I have shared on signs of hormonal imbalance. So if you would like to find out what are the signs of hormonal imbalance and not just progesterone, do check out this video later on after you have finished this video. And if you like this video, do smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. Now, first and foremost, let us understand what are some of the causes of low progesterone levels. Now, one of the biggest causes of progesterone deficiency is none other than stress. So when we are stressed, the hormone cortisol level rises and that actually blocks out the progesterone receptors, which then limits the activity of progesterone. Another cause for progesterone deficiency is environmental estrogen. So when our bodies have too much of estrogen in comparison, then the levels of progesterone pill in comparison. And there's this thing called xenoestrogens, and that's none other than estrogens that are produced by chemicals. And that's the chemicals that mimic estrogen. And um, usually these are in the form of plastics like BPA, synthetic hormones, and animal products. Another cause for progesterone deficiency is if we overexercise. Yes. So for those of you who are really into sports, who are athletes, who work out a lot, and um, maybe at a competitive level, you may experience a hormone imbalance. So while it is good um, to exercise, we should do it in moderation. So when we exercise in moderation, that's when our hormones will be at an optimal level. So what are some of the signs of progesterone deficiency? First and foremost, the most common sign will be menstrual irregularity. You may experience very long cycles, irregular cycles, or very short cycles, be diagnosed with PCOS, experience menstrual cramps, and probably spotting before your period. So number two will be infertility. Now, for those of you who are trying to conceive unsuccessfully, while there may be many causes leading to infertility, having a low level of progesterone could be one of the reasons. Now, progesterone is one of the primary hormones for achieving and maintaining healthy pregnancy. So if you have difficulty conceiving or you have experienced miscarriage before, you may want to get checked on your progesterone levels. Sign number three, if you are experiencing acne breakouts, like adult acne, brittle nails that peel easily, or dry cracked skin like on your heels and hands, that is also a sign of progesterone deficiency. And if you have watched my other video on signs of hormonal imbalance, you will know that one of the signs of hormone imbalance is mood swings, depression. So deficiency in progesterone also leads to this. So this is also one of the signs of progesterone deficiency. Now for women, as we age, and especially when we are older than 30 years old, progesterone levels starts to drop and it drops all the way till we are at menopause. And that will be at, you know, one of the lowest levels. So that's why women do suffer from menopausal symptoms as they approach menopause. And over here, I have a table to show you how levels of progesterone compare across the different life stages. If you refer to the table here, you'll be able to see that um, our progesterone levels are the highest when we are pregnant and the lowest when we reach menopause. Now, sign number five. If we are experiencing low levels of progesterone, uh, we might also experience low libido and generally a very low level of energy. We may feel tired a lot, you know, and even though we sleep a lot, we still feel fatigued, we feel tired all the time, we don't feel like getting things done. Another sign of progesterone deficiency is weight gain. And this weight gain will be um, more pronounced in your midsection. You might also experience sluggish metabolism as well as sugar cravings. There are also some women that I come across that uh, when they are low in progesterone levels or when they're like approaching menopause, they start to have frequent headaches 
and the migraines. And that's also one of the signs of progesterone deficiency. And while insomnia could have other causes, low levels of progesterone is also one of the signs. So now that we know the signs of progesterone deficiency, how do we deal with it naturally? Now, um, of course, we should aim to reduce our stress levels by doing deep breathing exercises, relaxing exercises like maybe yoga, qigong, meditation, prayers, or simply talk about our problems or concerns with our friends, you know. And as I have mentioned earlier, another cause for low progesterone is environmental estrogens, especially using plastic containers for our drinks and our food. We should also lower our intake of animal products because a lot of meats and dairy products nowadays are um, injected with hormones. Hence for me, I try to use um, products that are naturally produced as much as possible. And for exercise, do remember that we should do moderate exercises and not over it ourselves. Now coming to foods, herbs, supplements, and essential oils, what are some of the things that we can take or use to help increase the levels of progesterone? While foods don't necessarily contain progesterone, some foods may help stimulate the body's production of progesterone. And uh, some of these foods include beans, nuts, broccoli, cabbage, kale, cauliflower, pumpkin, spinach, whole grains, and wild yam. Wild yam is a plant that people have used for centuries in alternative medicine. The bulb and roots of wild yams contain a chemical called diosgenin, which can influence the production of several useful hormones in humans. Hence, wild yam may be a natural way of promoting these hormones in the body, which could have certain medical benefits. Some of the potential benefits of wild yam include menopause symptoms, rheumatoid arthritis, blood sugar regulation, cramps and muscular pain. Now to boost our levels of progesterone, I would recommend Vitex or what is commonly known as chase berry or the chase tree. Vitex has been used in Europe for thousands of years. It has been used to treat female reproductive disorders and fertility for a long time. And it could come in the form of tinctures, serums, tablets, or tea. Now, Vitex itself does not contain hormones, but it acts on the pituitary gland and regulates its function, thus balancing hormone levels. Researchers believe that Vitex works by decreasing levels of the hormone prolactin, and this helps rebalance other hormones, including estrogen and progesterone, thus reducing PMS symptoms. Thyme essential oil helps to stimulate the production of progesterone. And uh, since infertility is correlated with low progesterone levels, PCOS and depression, thyme can also impact the levels of other hormones. Thyme oil can be a big help in restoring balance in our endocrine system. Studies have shown that rose essential oil promoted greater feelings of calm and relaxation. And I have mentioned earlier, one of the causes of low progesterone levels is stress. And when we are stressed, our cortisol levels rises. So by using rose essential oil, it can help to promote a sense of calm and hence balancing our cortisol levels. While clary sage does not have a direct impact in lowering our progesterone levels, clary sage does have an impact on our hormones. And in fact, there's one study that shows that cortisol levels in participants were reduced by as much as 36% after inhalation of clary sage oil. Clary sage also has the ability to help balance out estrogen levels. So when our levels of cortisol levels are reduced and estrogen levels are balanced, that will be a great help in balancing our progesterone levels as well. So these are some of the foods, herbs, and essential oils that you can use to potentially increase your levels of progesterone naturally. And if you'd like to know what are some of the other essential oils that you can use um, to balance your hormones, you can check out this video over here where I share on essential oils for hormonal imbalance. And for supplements, I would recommend vitamin D, omega-3 fatty acids, as well as vitamin B complex to reduce our stress levels. 
So if you would like to learn more about the supplements for hormonal imbalance, do check out this video over here on supplements for hormonal imbalance. So along with um, progesterone deficiency is usually estrogen dominance. So if you would like to learn more about um, the causes, the signs of estrogen dominance and how to deal with it, do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified of my next video on estrogen dominance. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do have a great day and a great week ahead.